Greetings, YouTube. Pipe in Redbeard. Arg. I uh, made that other video today just because it was a situation, but I did actually want to do something pipe related. <laughs> and I had it on my mind. And I kind of thought, well, I've already done the one with that whole be kind, rewind crap, but um, I did want to talk a little bit about um, a couple things. And one, one is what you're drinking while you're enjoying your pipe and um, the kind of mythical nirvana uh, experience that, you know, you get, you smoke the whole thing, the whole bowl without kind of relight or whatever and kind of some tips on how to do that if you really care, but also don't worry about it. So let's start here with uh, what to drink. Um, so actually this is a near up structure group three, I think I remember it's love this pipe, had it for a while. It's a great clincher. And uh, this is the, the Peter Stokeby's English luxury. And that's really what I, <laughs> I've almost been exclusively enjoying that for a while, and it's partly in, uh, partly because of it. I I don't know if it's like a pH neutral type of uh, blend or if um, I, well I don't know what it is, but I can I can drink a soda or a beer or scotch or bourbon or. Water, whatever it is, uh, with while I'm enjoying this blend, and, and it, you know, there's no flavor weirdness or um, uh, tongue bite or anything like that. And so, for me, that's really been the key here lately. Is that I just I don't want to just drink water with the pipe. So like with uh, with Lane One Q, for instance. If I try to have like a, a Diet Coke or a, a, um, even beer, it just tastes awful. And it has to do with, you know, it's a flavored aromatic with, uh, with a lot of vanilla in it. And it's a great tobacco, but um, but you do have to be mindful of what you're drinking while you're enjoying it. And uh, it, it's, it's the summertime and, you know, that's a little bit more... I guess what I'm drinking sodas and tea and things a lot more than probably during the winter. Um, you know, coffee is the morning thing, and that usually coffee can go with a, a, a nice aromatic or a, or a burly or a bourbon, any or I'm sorry, not a bourbon, but a, a English blend or whatever the case may be. But um, you know, during the afternoon and the evening, I, I kind of you know I want a beer <laughs> or uh, or just like now, which is this is really weird. Red Bull <laughs> as I'm driving back home today and you know the Red Bull in the Peter Stokeby English luxury doesn't it's not like what I would call a, a great match or anything but um, I don't I'm not disgusted and you know it's not burning up my tongue so um, that's really what that's really what's led me to kind of just enjoy this blend almost exclusively so that's just the uh, kind of what I see and you know feel free to put in the comments or something if you have a different experience or you have any hints or anything like that but I don't really like to have to make a choice between uh, a pipe tobacco that I'm going to enjoy it's either that or a drink I'm going to enjoy I really kind of want both and uh, sometimes and this will allow that you know this blend actually allows me to do that So, that's that. Uh, the other thing I noticed also when I'm, and this is particular when I'm driving, uh, because it's like uh, I'm not talking necessarily a lot, like on the videos, um, and my cadence is consistent. And that allows that whole bowl to really kind of keep consistently at the same kind of level of burn and 
allows you to pretty much not, it really decreases your likes that you have to do. So what, and a lot of people get a little upset with how many times they got to relight their pipe. I don't actually. The While I'm, when I'm working during the day uh, on the phone or doing stuff with, with uh, my clients and everything on uh, web meetings and stuff, I'm talking a lot. I put it down. I got to type a lot and all that kind of, you know, that kind of thing. And, you know, I got to relight the pipe a lot and it doesn't, doesn't bother me at all. What, what bothers me is when, uh, if I'm not really, if I'm like agitated <laughs> at something and I'm just puffing away and all of a sudden I realize I'm getting like a really hot feeling. I don't like that at all. So I'd rather, I'd rather smoke something, uh, on the slow side or have to relight rather than you know, burn your tongue up. So the, the key to the Nirvana smoke has, is really, there's a, there's a couple things is a, the, the, how you pack the pipe in, in it and, uh, it can't be too tight and it can't be too loose. It's gotta be just the right. And that's different for different blends. So if you have like a ribbon cut, uh, which is like a lane one Q or like a, uh, or shag, whatever they call it, different thing, ribbon, shag, fine cut that kind of thing like with uh, the English luxury or like a lane one Q those are easier to keep lit than taking like a plug or a, pl a flake and grinding it up or things of that nature or even like a rough cut I, I find rough cut to be probably the hardest to maintain because there's so many different um, shapes and sizes of the tobacco leaves that it does tend to want to burn different all throughout the bowl and I, that's that's a real challenge for me anyway but things like Peter Luxury like today on the way back from the office you know uh, nice slow cadence and just if I'm just driving down the road enjoying things and, uh, it's it'll it's surprising to me that I forget <laughs> I forget that if you just sit and you're calm and you've you know you pack your pipe correctly you get a good light on it Make sure you get your char light all good and then you just take your time and sip it man it'll go for a while <laughs> it goes for a long while before you have to relight it's awesome and usually when i'm in the van and i'm not doing these youtube videos um i don't have to light a lot at all um, so so i guess that's the that's a couple tips for a nirvana experience as far as that goes the other topic that i wanted to share is kind of um, one of my favorite dudes on uh in the youtube pipe community is mutton chop piper uh, i just like that guy I, I like watching his videos I, I like listening to how he presents things and what he has to say um i like the fact that he's a little weird i think that's kind of cool uh, i think we're all a little weird in a little way in ways and and I, of course, I, I think the, the mutton chops are pretty, <laughs> are awesome. I can't pull that off like he can, but, um, so he's having some issues with computers. I'm a computer guy, uh, sort of, um, in the, in a, well, I guess in a consultant manner, you know, what I do for a living in, uh, but dealing with like data centers and stuff is a little bit different than a, a PC, but, um. I would encourage you to look at his channel, look at his videos, and uh, if you want to know about how and the what's and, you know, stuff about, you know, the hobby of the pipe and tobacco, check him out. And uh, I'm also going to put a, um, a link below this video in the uh, description to a GoFundMe page. So if you find Mutton Chop Piper uh, he enjoyable and you want him to keep going. He's having a little issue with computers and he needs to get a new one and they're expensive. And you know, these, these type of videos don't pay bills. It's not like this is a money maker by any means. It's just a hobby. So, um, I would encourage you to look at that and support it if you wish him to continue. Um, and so that's, that's all there is. So, you know, keep your pack, pipe packed burning slow and uh rock on there youtube pipe and red beard later